What's going on ladies, gents, and kids of all ages? Eric coming back at you once again from the Nerd Cave, and today it is our first episode of Lorca News. Pretty big breaking news in the last couple days. If you're in the world of Lorca, you may have heard some of these details already. In fact, you may have heard all of them, uh, but if not, definitely stick around. I'm gonna be giving you the Reader's Digest version, so we're not gonna be taking a long time talking in detail about everything, but we are gonna be touching on all of the announcements that happened with Lorca in the last 48 hours. So first, and certainly not least, we're gonna go ahead and jump in with the video trailer from the lore cast for the next set of Lorcana. That's right, that was set for Ursula's Return. Tell me that doesn't look amazing. I couldn't be more excited to check out this new set. We did get announcements surrounding Encanto and the Madrigal family finally coming to Lorcana. I know this is something people are very excited about. And finally, we can talk about Bruno. What the heck? This card I think looks very interesting. I know people have said it doesn't look like it'll shake up the meta. I think it could do some interesting things. I mean, if you really look at it, Bruno could cycle with himself turn after turn, which could be interesting all by itself, not to mention what it could potentially do with cards we haven't even seen yet. They did announce we are getting new accessories based on set one, two, and three art. None of the accessories seem to be based on this art from the new set, Ursula's Return. But we are finally getting a Tinkerbell giant fairy play mat, which I think is something a lot of people wanted. So I know people are gonna be excited about that. We did see a replacement to the gift set in the Illumineers Quest game, which is gonna be a quest with multiple players playing against Ursula. So it's gonna be really interesting. It seems almost like D&D &D with cards. Uh, it's something that I've always thought would be an interesting concept for tabletop. So the fact that they're bringing that to Lorcana is something that uh, I couldn't be more excited about. We did see the introduction of several new cards, including a Floodborne Ariel and Ursula, as well as a Floodborne Mulan. The Floodborne Mulan does look like it could be upsetting, but as others have pointed out, it uh, as others have pointed out, it does appear to be number 224 out of 204. So there may be just an alternate art that's been revealed so far, and then we'll see the original art in the set, or maybe it's just those little Ursula squiggles on the card. But she does seem great. She comes out and if she shifts out, she gets plus three attacks. So it makes her a five five, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and when she attacks, you can deal five damage to two additional characters, or you can deal damage equal to her damage to two additional characters. So when she's attacking for five, uh, you're dealing five, 
three times. Another interesting card reveal I thought was the reveal of the legendary Yen Sid. Kind of almost similar to Piglet, except instead of a 2-2 stat line, it's a 1-3 stat line quest for one. And instead of having to have just two additional characters in play, you need to have two broom characters in play to get those additional two lore points in the questing. But he can potentially quest for three and has the additional upside that Piglet doesn't, that when he comes into play, if you have a broom character in play already, you do draw a card. So I think he could actually make Make brooms possibly a viable deck going into set four we got to keep in mind there could be additional broom support that we haven't seen yet and possibly the most exciting news of all of it for me being that i'm very interested in playing actual tabletop lorcana and being in the competitive scene is going to be the disney lorcana challenge which is going to be large tournaments it seems like there's going to be six of them in the united states uh starting Maybe starting, maybe not. It's saying that dates announced so far are May 25th and 26th in Atlanta, Georgia, and June 8th and 9th in Chicago, Illinois. And they did go on to say that there's going to be four more dates announced. So we're looking at six tournaments in the US. And then in if you're in Europe, uh, you've got one in Lille, France. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Uh, that's gonna be on May 25th and 26th. And then there's going to be one on July 6th and 7th in Bochum, Germany. Four more to be announced in the US, two more to be announced in the EU. So it looks like Europe's gonna get four events total and it looks like the US is going to get four more events for six events total. So super, super exciting. The Atlanta, Georgia one is the one that is the closest to me. So I'm very much considering checking that out. Even if you just sign up, you get a promo Dragonfire that looks amazing. Top 64 players get a promo Let It Go. And then the top 32 players get a promo Cinderella Stouthearted. And the top 16 players get a Rapunzel, a promotional Rapunzel gifted with healing. And one thing they haven't shown us yet, but they did announce is the top four players are gonna get a gold BLT Mickey card. So that's gonna be very exciting for those players. And I cannot wait to participate in those tournaments, see who wins, see what kind of prices those cards could potentially command. I personally, if I won them, wouldn't be selling them. They would be going into my collection, but I think they could be quite valuable cards. We're still waiting to see how the Stitch Rockstar Enchanted is gonna shake up the market and what kind of value that's gonna command. They did also announce a championship play mat that's gonna go along with this event that hasn't been talked about too much, but does look very interesting. So there you have it. That is your Lorcana Breakdown, Lorcana News episode one reader's digest version we're going to keep these coming at you if you enjoyed it go ahead and smash that like button drop a comment with what you think about all these things coming up and as always when you see those toys video games and exciting Lorcana challenges off in the distance it is not a mirage you guys have a great day